Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create this thingy. I don't know what's the name of it. Um, I made it like a, a month ago or something like that. Today I just discovered that uh, something like this already exists by a famous abstract artist. Basically, it contains only three of these things. I made it with four. Basically, no idea is original. It's been done somewhere in the world, maybe in China, maybe in America, maybe in Russia. But unique ideas don't exist. So anyways, let's jump in. So first thing, as you can see right now, I'm on the field. I'm going to select none. So I'm not on the field. I'm going to click on the stroke. I'm going to select the black color. And from here, we're going to select the circle, the ellipse tool, which is located where the rectangle tool is. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, create the first circle. Go to the stroke options, increase the weight of the stroke. And also make sure the align strokes is on this align stroke to center. I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, or you can go to edit and paste in front. It's going to paste in front another circle press and hold shift plus alt scale the circle down somewhere around here all right we're gonna go to object blend make and we're gonna multiply the circles click here where's the blend tool double click on it and select specify steps increase the numbers make sure the number is pair not impair so i gotta go with the uh, number 10 yeah Number 10 is good. I'm gonna click OK. Now I'm gonna create two circles. Now is the tricky part. So we have this. Uh, I'm gonna create another circle. Starting from here, where they intersect here in this uh, little circle, and it goes on like here. When they intersect here, you can see the guidelines, the purple gu guidelines. I'm gonna select it right where they intersect again here. I'm gonna show you with with the guidelines. They need to intersect right in the middle, right in the middle, and also double check it if you know if it's touching this this circle. Need to touch this circle, so make sure they touch each other. I'm gonna also expand this because uh, you know the other circles are not shown. So I'm gonna go to Object, go to Expand, click OK, and now you can see the rest of the circles. Uh, I'm gonna press and hold Control C, then Control F. So I created again another copy. Press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it down, and see where they intersect with these two lines in between. The circle needs to be in there. I'm gonna make these guidelines disappear. I'm gonna select this circle, press and hold Shift, and also select this circle. Go to Object, Blend, Make. Double click on the blend tool, select specify steps, increase the numbers until so for uh, you know I added four, and as you can see, they intersect each other perfectly. I'm gonna click OK, and from here I also need another circle. I'm gonna show you with a with a guideline. Gonna need it on this one, so I'm gonna create another circle which comes from this anchor point and goes up to here. I also gonna put it in the center. I'm gonna scale it up a little more where, until they intersect here. And now it's perfect. So it should look something like this. For this, we won't add any um, other circle. I also need to expand this also. So I'm gonna go to object. Where's the expand? Expand, click OK. So everything is expanded. Now we got the grids, we got the construction. And from here, we can go and, uh, you know, cut this out. All right, so we're going to need the Shift plus M, or you also can go here to the menu and select the Shape Builder tool. So we don't need to press anything, we just need to draw these together. And it's going to go here. And you can see it won't go here, it will go here. So this is the right way. And this little tri triangle connects this and this. So it's basically, you know, it's going out twirling on this one. I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna speed this up a little. And the last one goes something like this. And that's it. Okay, from here we're gonna need this uh, part, which is basically cut out. So I'm gonna select... Wait a sec. We're gonna ungroup it first. First right click, ungroup. So now everything is ungrouped. Press and hold shift and also select these. 
And I gonna... Ooh. What is going on here? Right click on group again. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So we're gonna need to delete the rest, which are these. So we got more stuff going on. We won't need this one. We won't need this one. So as you can see, it got two times in here. From here, I'm gonna go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. Uh, add four copies. I'm gonna add here minus 90. I think this was the number. <laughs> yeah, this was. The... So let, let me see. Oh. Horizontal and the vertical needs to be a plus 300 and something. And this was somewhere on minus 100. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this goes here, this goes. Oh, so it's like 200 and something, 260. Oh, I think I nailed it perfectly by like this. All right, because this is a different dimension, okay? So I also can increase the stroke a little more. And if you can see, if I increased it, I still I need to, you know, rearrange it again. So I gotta go back here to the appearance. If you don't got the appearance, go to Windows and select the appearance, which is located right here. And you can see all the effects uh, from the vector in here so you can see here the transform click on the transform and you know you can rearrange like click ok basically you need to experiment with it until it's gonna get perfect but mainly this is how you do this all right mainly this was it uh thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the other videos as well have a great day bye bye